If you know, you know. These quests are not necessarily in order, but they are some of the hardest or most annoying quests in the game, in my opinion. This first quest as seen in the intro is Long Road. In this quest you have to get 15 scav kills that are on the Long Road on Lighthouse. Doesn't seem hard, right? Well, the scavs that spawn on the road are almost never there. When the scavs do spawn there, it's usually a player scav, and from the angles that you hold this road from, it can be like a 200 meter shot. On a moving target, that can be very hard. Not to mention, there is also a lot of cover along the road. The best way that I have found to do this is by checking the road very early in the raid and also kind of in the middle. If no scavs are there, go and try to do something else and to wait for them. And then when there's about 15 minutes or less, you can check the road in the spot that you're previously in or you could just go and run down it because usually there's not PMCs or scavs left over. You can usually get about 2-4 to four scav kills by doing this, however waiting 20 plus minutes is very time consuming making it a very annoying quest to complete. Next up is setup. For this quest you need to get 15 PMC kills on customs while wearing a Ushanka, a scav vest, and while using a MP series shotgun. Very specific. Now the problem with this quest for patch 0.14 is that it's a pretty early quest in the skier quest line, whereas before it was usually after a few other quests that it's no longer. The Ushankas at the start of the wipe cost around 60,000, now they're about 20 so they're pretty cheap for how late it is into the wipe now. But at 60,000 for a little hat at the start of the wipe is just an expense not really worth it. And so it was a hard quest to do because it was a lot of money to spend at the start of the wipe. Not only this, but towards the end of the wipe if you're doing this, you have to use a shotgun. And shotguns are not necessarily the best thing to use late into the wipe. Finding PMCs is also a time consuming endeavor. Usually you get about two or less PMC kills each raid and that does not include if you die to them first. So this quest can take multiple raids, it can take 15, 20 or even more. You also can get it done pretty quick, it depends. Sometimes PvP by dorms is really fast paced and there's a lot of PMCs, sometimes you don't run into people, it's just a toss up. Now number 3 is a shooter born in heaven. This one is a lot like setup in the fact that you're forced to use certain gear, obviously it's not as specific, you just need a sniper. And I know there's some people out there who really like to use bolt actions, they're alright, but when you have to do 35 PMC kills on 7 different maps, it's very annoying just having to use bolt actions. Now a few honorable mentions before going into the fourth one our other difficult sniper quest um you see a common theme here but uh psycho sniper which is where you need to get to a sniper level of level 10 and then get five sniper kills in a row without dying i'm pretty sure you have to get to level 10 with sniper skills before getting the five kills or else if you die with the five kills the quest still gets canceled i'm not sure if that's true or not but i think that might be how it is and then Tarkov Shooter 8 is very similar. You need to get three headshots with a sniper also without dying. And finally is an annoying one because it's early into wipe and it's Tarkov Shooter 4. You have to get PMC kills from over 80 meters with a bolt action. And early into wipe, that can be difficult as bolt actions are harder to get. Well, not necessarily bolt actions are harder to get, but you know, you basically have the Mosin with the PU sight without a suppressor. And that can be kind of annoying to use. Next up, we have samples. This one seems very easy, except it's not. You have to find a certain amount of stimulants in raid and, uh, well, the AHF1-M and the 3BTG are just so annoying to find in this game. You can find them in, I think, med cases and stuff like that, but they're so inconsistent to find that way. You can sometimes find them on scavs, uh, or you can spawn it with them on your player scav. However, the only consistent way, I think, to get these is to either get black key card and go to labs and open black key card room, 
or I think Sanitar and his guards usually have them on them. So you either got to kill a boss or you got to go to labs with a key card that can be $8 million. It's usually less around now, but it's an expensive key. Finally, this is probably one of the most heartbreaking quests in the game if you end up dying while you're doing it. This quest is the guide. You have to survive nine times in a row and that being on every single map in the game. It doesn't seem too hard though, right? Well, kind of. On some of the maps, it can be very easy to avoid people. However, this does not ensure that there's not someone extracting or bush camping or you run into someone. Uh, if you do this with a five man, it can be pretty easy, especially the factory one, because there's only one other guy that can spawn. The thing that I can recommend is plan ahead which maps you want to knock out. And if you're running this solo, I would probably go in the order of something similar to factory, then streets, lighthouse, labs, reserve, customs, interchange, shoreline, and then woods. Uh, you can change it up depending on what you want, but I would say put ones that are very inconsistent or can go very different ways depending on your spawn early put labs somewhere early to mid because you have to pay for it it's you, there's a bunch of cheaters on it there's a bunch of sweats on it and you could get a bad spawn to extract so put that one pretty early because it's kind of an annoying one anyways these were the five hardest slash most annoying quest in the game that you have to do to get kappa obviously after these quests there are some really weird ones and hard ones but um yeah if if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and sub thanks